Welcome back to another video guys so let's get straight into the tips for Queen Charles Lalo first base we have here this is gonna be the plan I'm gonna use to take it out you guys should know this plan and know this base so yeah you guys should be getting more three stars on this base just a simple plan and let's go all right I'm gonna go at the top here I'm gonna place the finger to the outer toe all right so like this Okay, after he takes that out of toe, I'm gonna go with the queen here. Normally, it should go to the air defense, the flinger should go to the air defense next, but this base is kind of set up differently. So, we're gonna go with we're gonna tongue for it first. So, let's go. We can just spend this time just to tongue for it. It's okay, all right. I think that's enough, all right. As soon as he plays the queen, go with the king. And please remember this plan guys, this plan is really simple and it will guarantee you a 3 star. And this race is really popular. So, alright. My queen should go in for this expo here. And yeah, there's a gap in the wall so I can't break that wall. So I'm just gonna break the wall at the eagle. And that should give access to the tunnel. Alright, I could send the wall break now. To open up the eagle just like this and yes guys this will give access to the tunnel here so please remember usually the walls here are closed but all you have to do is just to break for the queen and you guys should get access to the tunnel no matter what just use one break for the king and three break for the queen all right just raise up here so she could fight, fight the CC faster because we wasted a lot of time at the start. Just trying to get some down some minions for cleanup. All right, guys, we can just go with the last rage here once she's on the tunnel like this. And here we gotta go with the Lalo right away. So, three groups alone like this going in. Gonna go with a freeze on the inferno. After that freeze, we're gonna go with the hound and the head hunters. Gonna go yes, a spell, and then warden ability. Catch the hound and the head hunters. Rage over in the scatter shot. Use the back end goons while the hound is tanking. Freeze up the multi, and that should be it, guys. Just do this plan, guys. It's really, it's really consistent. Like if you see this base, you guys should get it. And this one was a beautiful attack. Look at how many loons left up. And you guys, this is how we take down this race. It's really a simple pace with this plan. So please do it. Alright, next attack here. Okay, this base. Diamond. A diamondish base, I don't know. Box diamond. So that's gonna be the plan. And you guys, we're gonna start right here at the. Wistawa. We're gonna let Queen take out the air defense and set up the Yeti bomb over to the monolith. So the first time I saw this space, this is the plan I did. And I got the three star. So I originally know to three star this base because I three star it the first time I saw it for the first time. So let's go. Rage here. I kinda whiff here. Lost my queen ability. If I rage earlier, it wouldn't have been lost. But it shows that this approach is really strong. So the queen ability is not needed. And yeah, let's go. The Yeti got the monolith on the inferno. Also killed the enemy queen. So that's good. Just break right here, guys. And the next break should give you access to the tunnel. Alright, just like this, guys. This, this plan is really consistent. Every time I saw this base, I tree start. For the first time I saw it, I tree start. So let's go. And I didn't know how to approach it. I just saw that this approach would be good. And I tried it and it worked phenomenally. 
so yeah let's go raging up the queen again all right you guys should spend all of the rage on her but only just one rage for the yeti bump so yes guys that's gonna be her she's gonna go on the tunnel next we're gonna start the lalo over here so you want to start heavy on the loons so i went with 10 loons five in each group five in two groups the rc head hunter and the horn see i don't drop the horn first and then reward an ability to go to the raid tower we catch the horn in it and that's gonna take the fire off the scatter shot we can just freeze up the expo for the queen and the inferno for the loons just like this guys just like this how you take it down just simple like this just follow the plan and you guys should make it out just trust me just do these plans when you if you recognize this space in legend league approach it like this you will get the three star even though we lost the queen ability we still managed to make it a great three star so shows you can have arrow and it still will work so it's a solid solid plan yeah guys nice three star like this all right into the next one here okay a really tough one here this is the plan i'll be using so okay this is the first time i'm seeing this base but i noticed a really great plan for the queen charge and yeah i'm gonna try it here and it's gonna work it's gonna work better than i expected and i did a lot of mistake here so let's go we're gonna set up the finger over here. We're gonna test if the archer tower is in range with the archer. Okay, it's not in range of the finger, so I could start it there, and that's gonna set the funnel. I'm gonna go with the queen here to go to the middle. All right, so I'm gonna funnel the queen inside here with a baby dragon, and I'm gonna use my king up top. His goal is to take out the town hall. So let's go, guys. Queen pushing into the middle here, we got to send a wall break and perfectly that wall breaker opened the wall really nice right king fighting king gonna set a funnel for him alright my queen is taking out the inferno already so that's good alright queen is in this channel now so that's great this is what I want from her she's fighting the expo without any other damage on her with Coco Loon. So now my king is low on HP. I'm gonna use the invis to put him to the town hall here. Just like that. And he should take care of that. So nice. Okay, so my queen of this core channel to work with. My flinger is setting a great funnel down there to keep her inside. King took out the town hall, so I don't have to worry about up there. And now here I failed to keep her alive. So now with everything, I don't know what type of rage is that. Yeah, I definitely mess up this one. So after she went to ability, I'm gonna start the lala over here. Just like this. And yeah, I also made a next misplay here. I should have sent some more loons. But yeah, just a misplay here. Started off with only a little bit of loons. So that like the loons die out really quick and yeah guys we made a lot of mistake but we still get the three star this one it's the first time i'm seeing it it worked out really well but it could have been better but yeah i made a lot of mistake here but it shows that this approach is really strong for this space so I don't know if you guys gonna see this one but whenever you see it and notice like notice and recognize the base please do do this approach it it works really good i made a lot of mistake but it still worked out but you yeah, guys just like this
into the next one here so we have a diamond base here okay so this is gonna be the plan here okay so what you want to do the first thing first you're gonna set up the flinger over here I set it over here because of the warden tower yeah my flinger could also go in there and take out that I didn't go from the king side because the king is not a defense so I pick this side and here's a little trick whenever you see CC outside like this you do this with the rage and the invis with the queen and that's gonna take out the CC right away and yeah so we don't have to worry about that so please do that whenever you see the CC outside and you're coming for the tunnel just do that trick there's an there's an next base like that out there whenever I find it again I'm gonna do it and you guys should see it so yeah going in here it's a multi behind the tunnel there so we don't have to worry much but the there's four expos so what we want to do here is to use the king to take to tank two of them or take fire off two of them and yeah it should keep our queen healthy and she should go to the core and get these scatter shots all right so king ability going in take out these expos all right let's damage on my queen king also gonna come around here help out the flinger so that's good I'm gonna send in the wall break all right it should open the core wall but it died really early there and yeah she would have, ac have access to both scatter shot right away but unfortunately the wall breaker didn't make it so leaving a rage on my queen here i'm gonna look to start the lalo now so i'm gonna start from the back bot bottom side here so going in right so we didn't need didn't need to start with the own there so we just start with the loons and the horn later then warden ability to catch it in the warden ability so it could do some more tanking for my loons yeah guys that should be it it should be over here because it's just a single on the next end and we have queen in the compartment up top there so she should wipe out that Hey guys, if you find this in a if you see the CC on the outside, please do that trick. Just up the rage, drop the invis, and then you place the queen. She should take out the CC without, like, without pulling it. And you don't really have to use her poison spell. And that's really nice. Getting the CC on the first, like, getting the CC first is just always nice. Alright. Last attack here. We all know this space. That's gonna be the plan. You guys should know. We're going over it again. Okay. So around the tunnel, the warden is touching the like it's one tile away from the tunnel. So the warden tower is a defense. So the flinger should use that to activate the tunnel because one tile away, the flame effect will will eat anything that's like one tile distance. So. Just like that, remember I always start the queen from the dark spell factory right here. She should wipe out these defenses and go right to the next inferno. And the flinger should take out the tunnel by itself. Alright. I would advise you guys to reach her earlier. Once that expo lock onto her, reach her. Like reach her earlier than this. Because this cost me the queen ability and that's a mistake there but it's okay we can still three star it all right so we're gonna send wall breaks like this sometimes you target there and you should be able to target the scatter shot compartment here open up that now we have access to the eagle and the inferno so that's good we can use the last rage for the queen here we need to save one for the Lalo. We can raise her up now. And yeah. After we know that she's safe. And yeah, she should be safe. Starting the RC behind the king here. Pulling the Lalo from this angle. Just always remember that. 
And yeah, we can freeze up these defenses first. And just send down the headhunters. Rage. And ward and ability. And that should be it, guys. Once you reach this part in the attack, it should be game. It should be over. Alright. It's in true. And yeah, guys. No matter what. Once you reach. Once you get that part with the warden ability, it's over. Like it's over. It, there's nothing more the base could do to stop the attack. No matter what it tries, the base will always get 3 star. Once you do that warden ability, you get the other hunters with the hound, it should be game over. The hound didn't die, so this is how we take down this base guys. I hope you guys found it in Legend League and been 3 star in it. And yes guys, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And bye.